How you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Itch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Man, we are really going to dig in some really good testing when it comes to these screens. Now, as I said before, I do not rush my job when it comes to my screens. I can back up my product 150%. I can show exactly what my screens are capable of doing by doing detail test when I mean detailed test I mean really doing rigorous detailed test because here's the problem if you are launching a screen paint or a projection screen and you are doing this in a matter of weeks if you are basically taking a pretty mix and putting it against the wall and putting it in a dark environment hitting that with the screen it really does not prove your projectors your screen's capability it doesn't because there are certain tests that have to be done big name companies have to do it I've done it a few times. I've actually done it quite a few times now on my video demo. Actually, all my, oh, I think every video demonstration I have done them pattern tests. Yeah, yeah, I've done those tests. I had to do it on the big boy screen and I had to do it on this screen right here. So this is Project Sleeping Giant. I'm gonna show you the test that basically um, de um, declares the quality of your video's performance, your, your projecting screen performance. And as I tell people, look, you don't have to spend a lot of money because a lot of people think you have to spend a ton of money to get an excellent picture from your projector. No, mostly, it mainly, it falls on your screen. So before we start this demonstration, let's get over here and let's check out the projector we're using, which is the NEC uh, VT595 projector. This projector is 2,000 lumens, 600 by 800. We're doing this in 720p. This is about a hundred and sixty dollar projector. Some places you might be able to get it for 90 bucks, but it's a very cheap projector, just to let you know that. All right, now the demonstration we're doing, as always, fully lit environment. I don't see the point of doing 90% of your video demonstrations in a dark environment. Now, these tests are very, very important when you're testing your screen. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. Anybody who skips doing this particular test when they are marketing their product, I wouldn't go near it. I would not go near it because this shows your screen's true ability. It shows your, um, your, your the color balance, uh, these test the contrast, uh, how the, the difference between the white wall. That's why we're doing the white wall. We got the white sheet of paper in the middle to just make it a little bit more harder. So, if you're going, if anyone who skips these particular uh, 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 test um, I wouldn't go near the product and I'll tell you why because the problem you're going to have is if you take a screen that has not been fully tested especially not with a lot of ambient light you're going to this screen someone's going to take this screen home in an area that has like tons of condensed lighting in, in their environment and the screen's going to fail or they're going to have to calibrate the crap out of their projector now mind you the projector I have behind me has never been calibrated so let's get this started and let's show you the advancement of this screen now this is the part I want to show you right here. It's going to blow your mind. In the middle of this screen, put this back up here again so you can see this, that piece of paper is white. The screen is literally so bright that it takes a white piece of paper and turns it gray. That's how magnificent these screens are. Now, if you look at the bottom where the black is at, you have the white wall. This is how much of the contrast you're losing. Those of you that are using white walls and white projection screens and you stand by your screen being superior, it's not, it just isn't. This is just how much you're losing. Contrast is very important when it comes to screens. All right, so let's start this real quick. So you guys can see exactly what you're missing when it comes to your screen. Now let's pause here. We're gonna go back here a minute. Pause here a minute. Now, this is where I want you to see. Look at the yellows. Look at the reds. Look at this on the screen. Look at this. Look at the white sheet of paper in the middle. The screen, mind you, is only at 10%. And look at this. This is how much how advanced these screens are. Let's keep pushing on. This part, I want you to look, we're gonna zoom in really close because I want you to really see this. This is literally how bright the whites are on our screen. Mine, it's a white piece of paper in the middle. Even at 80%, we're still brighter. 100% still brighter. That's how amazing these screens are. Look at the reds.
All this is very, very important when you're doing testing. All right, so let me sit right there for a minute. Let me go back a minute because I want to get those lights in there really good. Right, right there. All right. Now let's look at this right here. This right here is the contrast of the screen. Now, this is what you're, if you're using a white wall, this is what you're getting. And with our screen, even with the white piece of paper, you can see the difference between the contrast levels. Look at this. Like I said, very important test. Okay, let's move on. All right, this is what I want to point out right here. Let's go back a bit here. This is very, very interesting right here. All right, now, this is a part you have to really zoom in on. Mind you, our screens are literally so bright that we can take a white piece of paper and turn it gray. So if you look at the top of this, zoom in on here, see where our screen is at? There is the white piece of paper right there. All right, we have turned it gray. I'm gonna go a little closer on that. There you go, that's gray. And if you look at the contrast level where the screen is at, it's actually um, faded because, like I said, it's white. It's not going to be the past the contrast levels of our, of our screen. But literally, that's what we do to a piece of, uh, of gray paper that's against our, our white surface. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So this is the gray screen right here against our white, against our, excuse me. This is the gray screen. I mean, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting confused here. This is the white piece of paper against our, 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 our screen on a white surface and it turns gray. You can see our surface is brighter. And then if you look at it, this is the contrast right there. So that's the thing that's right there. It's kind of confusing here and there. It does. All right, so we're going again. Let me see it for yourself. All right, come out of that real quick. Look how bright the whites are. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go back here just a minute right here uh, and pause. I just wanna show you up close. Look at this. Look at this all the way around. Look at this, look how bright the screen is. This is what I'm talking about. We have to do uh, the test. You have to do the test. Tests are very important. Uh, anyone who's not doing these tests um, I wouldn't go near their screen because you really don't know exactly the color balance of the screen. I mean, like I said, screen can look amazing when you have the lights out. A screen can look amazing if you have um, if you have a good projector. Even if you're using a cheap projector, screen can still look amazing. But you're really not going to see the performance of the screen until you run a color pattern test. You're really not going to see the performance of the screen. So like I said, we can prove it. We can back it up right here. Okay, well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. This is Project Sleeping Giant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching.